Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I was wondering, like, what does the date April 1st mean to you? Hmm? April 1st. Could be April Fool's Day. I know if you're like me, most guys don't remember dates real well. I don't even remember my birthday. Birthdays are hard. I remember opening day of deer season. That's something we look forward to. April 1st in Michigan is like, it's not April Fool's Day. April 1st in Michigan means like you have to renew your your stickers, your permit, your trail permits and your ORV stickers and everything for your off-road vehicles. And it's also opening day of Silver Lake Sand Dunes. Yeah, yeah. Silver Lake Sand Dunes opens April 1st. You gotta be ready. I haven't been there in years. I used to ride up there in the 80s when I was a youngster with a three-wheeler and a four-wheel drive truck. Why, why do I want to go to Silver Lake? Because I'm into off-road. If you're into off-road vehicles, you, you all either been to Silver Lake Sand Dunes at least once or you are wanting to go. It's just the place to be. In fact, it is 450 acres of sand dunes. Where you get to ride your ATVs, ORVs, trucks, whatever you can get up in the dunes. You can ride them up there as long as you have them set up right and have all the equipment. 450 acres. It is the only sand dune area you are allowed to ride ORVs in east of the Mississippi. <laughs> oh. East of the Mississippi. That covers a lot of ground, y'all. So, yeah, I want to go to Silver Lake. And we need to get this thing ready to go right here. This can am is going to Silver Lake. Just some of the things right now we can do to be ready. I like to be ready when we get there. I was just wondering, are you guys doing ready? In this video, I'm just going over what I did to get doing ready. If you have any questions, any feedback, any comments, write them down below. Can you can you tell I'm in my truck? I'm not in the can am today. Like uh, springtime in Michigan is crazy. Last night we had a nice storm. Today is supposed to be in the 50s. We're on our way up to town to get some new tags so we can be legal and ready to go Aha, we did it the operation was a success here's our ORV stickers for Michigan two of them that we need anyways this one is your ORV license this one like it says is the ORV trail sticker or permit the ORV license this one was $26.25 dang need your driver's license to in order to buy these this one is the trail permit so you gotta have both in order to ride the trails and scramble areas, the, desert, the state designated trails and scramble areas in Michigan. You need both of these. And we need these for Silver Lake, definitely. And because Silver Lake is a state park, we got to have a freaking state park sticker too. And uh, the Silver Lake, the state park sticker, I'm going to have to buy it when we go up there. I have a video. I was stopped in the Can-Am twice twice in the same day the guys were checking for stickers check out this video if you haven't seen it i have proof <laughs> watch this video they look huge but actually we got to cut them in half there's the bottom part is the instructions on where to stick it oh. they're telling you where to stick it y'all so we're going to cut them in half and find a place to mount them well, because us machine owners, we don't like putting these ugly stickers on our machines just anywhere. We got to have a special spot for these. 
Like they're just ugly. Watch this. You pull that up. See that stuff under there? It says void all over the place if you peel that up. You're not supposed to put your new stickers over the old stickers. But I stuck these on this machine last year. First I stuck them here. On that, that's a matte finish. They didn't stay on there like 10 minutes I had to go buy new ones because I lost them suckers in the woods somewhere so the second set I stuck on the sticker <laughs> I stuck the sticker on the sticker and they stayed but we don't like them on our machines because you get that kind of crap so we're gonna peel them we're gonna peel the factory warning stickers off too because like we read all the warnings we don't we don't like them on there either so we're gonna peel these off and I got to looking at the rear of the machine isn't that a good looking rear end that's hot there's fire coming out of there hot that is hot but I got to looking at the rear see these holes right here I do believe that's made for a license plate because you can get license plates on these so my old brain kicked into focus my old brain kicked in. What do you what do you say? Focus? No, it's not focused. The brain cells took over and I got motorcycle license plates that are old. And they fit on there perfect. Then I figured like I need something plastic. We need some plastic. Because all of this stuff back here is plastic, except for the muffler. Plastic, them stickers should stick on pretty well. So I'm thinking, I'm a cheap guy. What, about, what do I got that's plastic? And I'm looking at that grill right there. See these? <laughs> There's one on both ends. I happen to have an old grill out down yonder. So I took one of them off and cut it up. I made me a license plate modeled after a motorcycle plate. And we're going to stick it right there. We're going to see if these stickers stick on that plastic real good. When the brain cells take over, there's, there's no stopping you. I'm a cheap guy, so I can make my own. But every time we went to the store, like Walmart, Myers, Costco, whatever, the hardware, I'm looking for little license plate holders, like motorcycle size. And I ain't seen none anywhere. I'm not going to order any off the line because... That costs you money. Well, I got plastic laying around. I'm using plastic first. All right. That is my piece of plastic I took out of that there grill, the old grill. And I stuck the sticker on there. It didn't stick very good. So I was spray paint. I didn't think the sticker still stuck real good. So that might not be a good idea right there. But my template... That's an old motorcycle plate. The sticker stuck to that real good. The old brain cells are kicking in again. I like, I'm gonna use that. Put it down here. Call it good. Yep, that's what I'm gonna do. And we're on our way to being legal with this machine. We wanna get to the dunes. There it is. I got that license plate on there. I got stopped for that stuff. Them stickers, they got to be in plain sight. Like I said, I had them up here. If you got them out in plain sight, they're not going to stop you. They're just looking to see uh, if you got them. Hard work pays off, y'all. I'm just saying. Where we are. We're legal to ride the trails now. I just left room on there for the dune sticker. We're going to Silver Lake. I'm not sure what day yet, though. But we're going to have to get that sticker up there. Stick it on there. Ready to rock. Another thing you need to get into the dunes at Silver Lake, and it's only a requirement in Michigan, it seems like, but you need one of these. One of those. You got to have a flag. On a 10-foot pole, 
mounted on the front of your machine, not on the back, on the front. That's so people can see it coming over the hills. So we got that. Yeah, we got that at Duneland. I like that store because the young fellow that works in there, I mean, he rides snowmobiles too. I met him one day up there riding my motorcycle and he was riding a snowmobile. But to mount that flag on the machine, I hope you can see, I got this bracket too, right here. I don't have a bumper on the front of this machine, but there is a, a tube right there, the same size as a roll cage. So we got a clamp right there at Dune Land too. That sucker was $45. It's a billet. <laughs> billet. That mounts that flag to the front of the car. We got the styrofoam so the flag doesn't rub against your fine paint job on your machine. So we got all that stuff. We're just about ready for the dunes. The tires in the in the dunes I know from the 80s and when I used to take my truck up there and ride three-wheelers, you gotta let the air out of your tires. So we're gonna put them down to 10 pounds pounds to start with I think 10 pounds of air pressure in the tires all we need to do is get up there the weather around here has been crappy let me tell you what when I always think of the dunes I think of getting a sunburn you know being all nice and warm I'm not sure if we want to go up there in the snow so we might wait a couple days did I mention these stickers are good for one year in Michigan you got to have new ones on April 1st, and they will go till March 31st of 2023. You know, then you got to go through this process all over again. We're so lucky to be able to do that. Well, y'all, we done made another video today. <laughs> hit the old like button right there. Bam! Just, just hit that sucker. It helps, it helps me out on the YouTube algorithm. Yeah. That allows the video to be shared with more people that might be interested. It helps them find it easier. So if you smash that like button, that'd be awesome. And obviously, we're going to go to Silver Lake. We're going to video the whole process of going over there. Because there's certain things you have to do once you get there. There's checkpoints you have to go through before you can get, even get up in the dunes. And we're going to video all of that. I appreciate you watching. And we'll see you all next time. Cool? Thumbs up. That's the like button. Thumbs up right there. <laughs> Looks like I cut up that old grill for nothing. Maybe we can use that thing for something else. I sanded the edges with my Dremel tool. Drilled holes in it. Took that old grill apart. Because it was for nothing. Hey, so not the first time. By the way, this old dude flag and the pole and the bracket whoa it just fell in there that stuff cost me like 75 dollars for both of those we we're almost dune ready i never use sand tires sand paddles or any of that stuff i'm sure they work a lot better but we like to use this for trail riding too and just swapping tires around just for one day at the dunes doesn't make any sense See, I'm using my brain, <laughs> I think. I'm trying to, but I just thought I'd explain that a little bit. These tires will work.